Hey guys, so today I have an LG Stylo 2 Plus on Metro PCS. It's the LG MS550. Uh, this phone came to me yesterday with an Android factory reset protection lock on it. Um, I watched a bunch of Root Junkies videos, you know, that he's posted on the FRP bypass methods that he's come up with, and none of them quite worked with this phone. Uh, the main things I noticed with this phone are when you turn on the accessibility, if you hit the little home button, um, you know, that you would normally use the bypass, uh, it tells you that setup needs to be completed first. Uh, another issue that I ran into was if you hit the share button on anything, nothing pops up for you to share it with. Um, after that, once you get around all of that, uh, you can't get into unknown sources when you finally do get into the system settings. Uh, the unknown sources is completely grayed out, you know, where you can't turn it on or off. Uh, and then also Chrome, when you download any APK files through Chrome, you try to run one and it tells you that the system is unable to scan that file. So I messed with it for probably seven or eight hours and I finally figured it out. So if you follow my video, I know it's kind of long, I'm sorry. Uh, if you follow the video from start to finish, the exact steps, including the factory reset in the very beginning, should be good to go. Alright, so here I am doing the factory reset on the device. Uh, this will take a couple of minutes um, from start to finish, so bear with me. Uh, if you guys need the link to the website um, from where I hosted the two links uh, that are later on in this video, you can find them in the description below. Okay, so the device booted up, and what you're going to do first is go through and enable your Wi-Fi. And once it scans and finds your access point, you'll go ahead and connect to that, type in your password and everything, like I'm doing now. Alright, so I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. Uh, go ahead and hit skip and now I'm going to show you guys you know that the phone is a uh, Google account locked uh, it takes it a few seconds to go through all of this so uh, you'll see it in just a sec Uh, if you see this little thing pop up, go ahead and click accept.
Okay, and now it's going to show you that it's locked to a Google account and that it needs the email address and password tied to it in order to unlock it. Alright, now go ahead and hit the back button a couple of times until you get to the main screen. Tap on accessibility. Say yes. Tap on vision. Tap on talk back. And you're going to scroll down until you see text to speech output. Tap on that. Tap the little gear next to Google Text. Tap on settings. Tap on feedback. And tap on terms of service. Now Chrome should open up. Click accept. Click no thanks. And now up in the address bar you're going to type in frp f 0 ilcom Alright, now go ahead and go there and you're going to tap on step 1 and that's going to bring up a little box at the bottom uh, from there you will tap on uncheck the box that says use as default then you're gonna press and hold on Gmail uh, once that goes through tap on notifications tap on app settings and then tap the little three dots for the menu click manage accounts say continue uh, I went ahead and organized these by list just from my personal view uh, scroll all the way down and now I'm going to show you that uh, unknown sources is grayed out and disabled. I went ahead and turned off verify apps and now you want to disable the Android device manager under the administrators. Deactivate that and you're going to go back to manage accounts. Say yes. Now you're going to go to apps. Uh, click the menu button, click on show system, scroll all the way down until you get up to the setup wizards, and there should be two of these in there. Tap on the blue one first, force stop, OK, go back, tap the other setup wizard, force stop, OK, go to storage, clear the cache, go back, go back. Go to the other setup wizard again, clear storage again, uh, clear data, OK, go back, go back. Now go ahead and scroll all the way up until you get to the uh, Google Play services. I should have showed you that you wouldn't be able to disable this before, but I uh, go ahead and hit force stop and then disable and then go back, go back, back back, back again, back, 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 all the way to the very beginning. Alright, now go next, skip. Now what you're going to do is scroll all the way to the bottom, go to add Wi-Fi network, and you're going to just type in a bunch of random whatever, press and hold on that, and then tap on share. Uh, normally this wouldn't do anything, but now you've got this menu. Press and hold on Gmail, Go to Notifications, App Settings, the Menu button, Manage Accounts, say Yes. Now you're going to scroll down, go back to Fingerprints and Security, and you'll see that you can now turn on Unknown Sources. Go ahead and turn that on, click Allow. Uh, go back, go back into Apps scroll all the way down and we're going to re-enable the Google Play services continue going back all the way back to the main screen alright now what we're going to do is cancel out of everything go all the way back and we're going to go back to accessibility say yes uh, same thing as before vision talk back uh, text to speech output Click the little gear, settings, feedback, and go back to terms of service. 
we want to get back into Chrome so that we can download the shortcut APK now. So go back to my website. And now once this loads up, tap on step two. And when it pops up, uh, go ahead and uh, create the permissions, allow, and then say OK to download it. It should download. And now if you tap open, it's going to tell you that it's unable to scan. I'm just going to show you that again. And just kind of ignore uh, my cat that pops in here for a second. That would be Jimmy Jr. He's crazy. <laughs> Alright, and now I'm just kind of showing you guys, you know, that no matter what you do through here, it's not going to work. Uh, so just ignore this for right now. Okay, so now uh, you're going to go back and we're going to restart that again. Uh, go back to uh, where we just came from, where you go back to feedback, go to terms of service, uh, go back to my website again, and this time we are going to click back on step one, like we did originally. Go ahead and uncheck the box, press and hold on Google, or uh, Gmail, I'm sorry, go to notifications, app settings, menu button, manage accounts. Uh, now we are going to go to the Google Now cards, so go down, actually uh, I kind of messed up here. Um, I was just double checking that the, uh, the unknown sources, you know, stayed active and checked a couple other things. Uh, but what we want to do, in the meantime, go to Google Services. And I was just checking that it wasn't scanning apps anymore. Uh, Alright, now go to Search and Now. Click on Now Cards. Show Cards. Say No Thanks. Now we have a search box. So type in, uh, you're going to go to Download. So type D-O. Now you're going to see the APKs. Tap on one of those, uncheck the box, tap on package installer, tap OK, tap install. Give it a few seconds, tap on open. Look at that. So now what you're going to do is you're going to scroll all the way down, about halfway, until you get to Google Account Manager. And when you see the one that says uh, type email and password, tap on that. Tap on try. Now it's going to take you to this screen. Tap the menu button. Tap on browser sign in and click OK. Now from here you're going to go ahead and sign in with your personal you know, Gmail address and use your password. Alright, once it gets you signed in, it'll take you back to the shortcut manager. Uh, we're just going to continue to go back. And we're going to go all the way back to the very beginning uh, from the, you know, the main screen where we started out. Just keep going back, ignore my email address there. Keep going. Alright, now, once you're here, click Next, Skip. Uh, next, the reason I have that skipped there is because I don't have a SIM card inside this device. Uh, look, now it says that my account's added, and it says just a sec. This takes probably a minute or two, maybe a little bit longer.
And here's some more Jimmy Jr. for you. He likes to bother me every time I try to do anything. Alright, and it's almost finished. Not much longer. Alright, so now, uh, as you can see, um, you can turn off all these settings or set it up however you want. Uh, I just kind of went through it really quick and skipped over most of it and didn't do any kind of security pattern or code. And we're in the phone. There you go.